Hi there, this is AZ Bell 3433 once again. And today we're going to be doing my first demonstration on dry, bake, dry baking in one of these pots using the Betty Crocker blueberry muffin mix and we're going to be mixing it up here pretty quickly. But first of all, I'd like to go over some of the things that I put into the bottom of these pots to stand off to uh, you know get the pot, the actual baking pot off the bottom of the uh, holding pot. And this is a piece of one stock, one inch stock aluminum that I actually bent into a U shape and put some lightning holes into it to make it a little bit lighter. This works really well. I also have the um, muffin fan or muffin fan covers that uh, Hiram Cook used. These work very well in this pot also. Um, and, but they don't, and I also use them sometimes occasionally. I have the Kmart grease pot and they work pretty good in there also. Neither one of those will fit into a 12 centimeter musa pot that I have here. I don't have any lids for this, so I haven't even tried to dry bake in these. Um, as far as what I use for, I also should say here inside the pot, today what I'm going to use is actually a standoff that I just made here recently. This is just an aluminum pie. Oh, I guess it's something you can buy at Walmart or anywhere else. And I've taken off the rim, which is actually gives it some rigidity. I've, I actually cut that off with some scissors and I put a series of holes around the top here. It's going to go down inside there and stand off. I've never done this one before. We're going to try it today. What I'm going to actually bake in is this uh, Fat daddy uh, It's actually a heavy duty aluminum that I saw somewhere on YouTube but I don't remember exactly where I saw it and somebody was using this. And I don't know if they were using it in conjunction with um, this pot or another one, but I don't remember. And I've also used the 10 centimeter for a mini bowl design with the handle cut off. This works very, very well too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it all mixed up and we're going to be using, of course, I'm going to use my pump action remote with a little pinch valve to control the flow of fuel. And what I'm going to do is we're going to get it mixed up and then I'll be back in a couple minutes and we'll get started. Be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. Okay, we got it all mixed up in our uh, Fat daddy -O, and the uh, inside is covered with Crisco uh, as per, I think, the last couple uh, dry baking that uh, Mini Bull Design and I think even um, Digitizer 101 has done. It's got Crisco on the inside. We have already have our fire going and we got our pot, pot already started to kind of preheat. So we're going to drop her down inside. And let's see, looks good. One thing about this Fat daddy -O is that it doesn't have a lot of room to on the size like the 10 uh, centimeter pot would have, but uh, we'll take a look and see. So I got my iPad sitting here and we're all set up to go for 18 minutes. We'll do it for 18 minutes and uh, once we get down to about 18 minutes we'll take a look and see what it looks like at 18 minutes. And until then, we'll be back in a minute and we'll see how it looks then. Okay, I'm just going to break in here real quickly and just do a little segment here. I just wanted to let you look and see what the flame looks like on the on the uh, stove. Um, looks good. This is the, my, my stove that is actually the one with the uh, tent stakes for the uh, pot stand. And again, it only has the center wick in. It does not have the donut on there. So this is what it's looking like as, as it's, it, we were in only in about two minutes. So we'll be back in when we're about 18 minutes in. Be back. Okay, we're down to almost the 17 minute mark. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna test it with a uh, toothpick right in the center and see if we're done yet. And usually if you bring it out and it's clean, you're done. Um, I don't think it's quite there. I think it still has a little bit more to go. Center is just a little bit on the moist side. So I'm gonna let this go for oh, about uh, three more minutes and I'll be back in about three more minutes. Be back. We're back. I've let it go for about three or four more minutes. I'm going to try it one more time. It looks like it's cracking on the top, so it's usually pretty good news. Ah, that's good. We're going to stop the flow. I've already done that. Blow her out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes, let it cool down some, and it's really going to bake a little bit more. And uh, we'll be back in We'll take a look and see what we got from there. Be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. It's time to take a look and see how this turned out. Let's turn this over and bring the... Okay. 
sucker's still a little hot. All right. We need something to grab that. Yeah, let's see. Get my little glove here. Let's turn her over. Bring it up. Uh, not too bad. Not all that great, but not all that bad either. Okay, let's see. A little bit on the dark side, but not bad. Not bad. Let's take a look at it. It's not burnt. Just a little on the, little on the dark side, not burnt at all. It doesn't smell burnt. Let's take a look at the inside. Yep, that looks all done. Not bad, not bad looking at all. I think that's my breakfast for tomorrow morning. So that was pretty successful. It could have been a little bit lighter, but it's not burnt, just a little bit uh, on the brown side. Now one thing I want to just mention about this, when I was actually putting this together, or starting it up <coughs> with this pump action remote, which I think I've had a couple work in progress ones on this. I pumped it to get this wet enough to uh, start the wick and then I never touched the pump again. All I did was with the with the um, little shutoff valve, little pinch valve, I controlled the flow and I was able to control the flame throughout the entire cooking process. So. It's worked out pretty good. I mean, I put it on this new bottle here. This is actually the bottle I got from Mini Bowl Design. But I adapted it to that bottle and it worked real good. So I'm pretty happy with it so far. I'm, I'm still going to work on it and see if there's anything else I can do to improve it. But if you have any questions or comments or anything about the baking or about the, um, the remote, I'd appreciate it. Until then, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. One thing I probably should have shown was the inside of this pot, or actually the cooking uh, container. Um, came out really nice and clean. I don't know if you can see on the inside. There's little spots in there, but I think those are the blueberries. that kind of got stuck to the side and one or two on the bottom, but it came up pretty clean, so the Crisco works good. And our little standoff with just the pie tin, that looks pretty good too. No damage down there, so that kind of worked real good too. Probably could have taken it off maybe two or three more minutes earlier than I did. Probably when I tested the first time uh, with the toothpick when it was just not quite done. I probably could have taken it off then and let it cook for five or so minutes just on the heat of the pot alone. But uh, otherwise everything looks pretty good. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.